your breathing rate and your heart rate will remain high. And you're trying to take in more oxygen and you're trying to send this oxygen to the liver. Because after the exercise, the lactic acid was transported by the blood to the liver. And in the liver, this lactic acid will be broken down by the oxygen that you are taking. That's why after the exercise, you still take in more oxygen. This is to pay this oxygen debt. It's to break down the lactic acid. Yes, it doesn't break it down, the man it didn't break it down. Because I'm over there, it re-oxidizes it. It's with that little aerobic respiration. It's returned, it's converted back into glucose in the liver. This lactic acid is converted back into glucose. And then it enters aerobic respiration. Okay? But for simplicity, you can just say it's breaking it down. Yes. It needs oxygen. Our respiratory system is specially adapted to allow gaseous exchange. The respiratory system, we have the larynx, which is the voice box. The larynx has the vocal cords that vibrates when we inhale or exhale. When air is pulsing, these vocal cords vibrate and they start to give out sounds. And then we have the trachea, the bronchi, two bronchi. Each bronchus enters one of the lungs and they start to branch into the bronchioles. Each bronchiole ends with an air sac, which is an alveolus. Alveolus or an air sac. Is it that ends with what it means? The vocal cords. 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 Both trachea and the bronchi, their walls are made of certain structures that are specially adapted to allow an air to pass and to allow efficient gases exchange with the heart. In trachea and bronchi, they both have cartilage. The cartilage will prevent the collapse of the soft tissues. In trachea or bronchi, they are soft tissues. Well, breathing movements, inhalation and exhalation, is going to involve changes in pressure inside the thorax. The changes in pressure is going to the soft tissues to collapse. A cartilage gives strength, gives support to the walls of the trachea and the bronchi, but they do not collapse, but the airway passages remain open. The pathway for the air will always remain open due to the presence of the cartilages. Okay? And it also has ciliated <coughs> epithelia <Yeah>. and goblet cells. <coughs> so the ciliated epithelia, these are cells that have cytoplasmic extensions, hair-like structures forming the cilia. That's the cilia. <coughs> and this cilia is in a continuous beating movement. It keeps on moving. There is also the goblet cell. So that's the goblet cell. And the goblet cell secretes mucus. And this mucus is sticky. So it's going to trap any bacteria or pathogens coming in with the inhaled air. So the goblet cell secretes this mucus and the cilia is beating so it push the mucus out of the lungs. And this is going to protect the lungs from any infections. 
So Zorix is the same. Okay. Okay. لا مش مش سريعة أنا مش مصحيح. فين الفورس؟ لا الفورس مش مرسوم هنا. الفورس is all this area. This area اللي هو من أول هنا لحد الدايفراجم. لما نيجي ناخد ال breathing movement هقول لك الفورس اللي هو اللي فيه rib cage. اللي هو بيبقى inside it the heart, the lungs, the trachea, the esophagus, the aorta, the blood vessels, the things you could have. This is all in the upper part of the abdomen, the lower thorax, this part. The lower rib cage, the rib cage which is made from the sternum, the ribs, and the vertebral column. This part. What diaphragm? Now all this is inside the thorax. The alveoli are responsible for gases exchange. The alveoli are the gaseous exchange surface. In order to be a good gases exchange surface, what does it have? It must have thin walls. And why does it need thin walls? Of diffusion. Let's go. Let's go. So we need a Spanish. You cannot say for foster diffusion. Let's. You have to say it's decreasing the distance. Ah, no. And that's for foster. I should say for foster. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
the blood flows through these blood capillaries. And blood flow will transport the exchange gases, maintaining the concentration gradient. Continuously, deoxygenated blood is brought in with a high carbon dioxide concentration and low oxygen concentration. And then the oxygenated blood, after the exchange of gases, is carried away. That this always maintains a concentration gradient between the air in the alveoli and the blood in the surrounding blood capillaries. The concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood is higher than the air, so it diffuses into the alveoli to be exhaled out. And the oxygen concentration in the air inside the alveoli is higher than the blood, so it diffuses into the blood to be transported away. Okay? The blood in the lower blood, 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 blood movement. Blood flow. Ashen is transporting and exchange gases. It's bringing blood with high carbon dioxide and low oxygen. And it's carrying away blood with high oxygen and low carbon dioxide. But around the alveoli, the blood will always have a high carbon dioxide concentration. is continuously being refreshed. When blood is continuously flowing. That the hour of the exchange and blood that we have will get the exhale. Yes, the blood is always moving in the blood vessels. Yes, there is always oxygen in the air in the alveoli, because of the inhalation, the exhalation. And there is always the carbon dioxide here that will be higher than the blood, because the blood is carrying away the oxygen in the blood, and it is bringing in the oxygen in the blood. Okay? Is it?